Hey y'all, you know what it is. It's Deb Chanel's Four Days World Time where we release videos and we talk about all kinds of stuff, mostly celebrity life and entertainment, how they do it to us and we just have to talk about it, okay? So hey guys, if you like love and want to see more of my videos, don't hesitate. Please subscribe share and like my videos all right that's one big way you can help me okay again subscribe like and share all right share with your friends family and your foes on it everybody need a little kiki and a ha ha here and i'm here to give it to you yes i'm here to give it to you but we're gonna talk about this mess about will smith confirming that him and jada have an open relationship i said oh now you want to come tell us you want to put it in black and white you want to just sit it before the masses and say okay yeah jada went out there and did that allegedly with uh agassino or whoever it was and i tried to make like i didn't know nothing about it but it just is what it is i'm like will have you found somebody that you have been spotted with and you just tired of just really hiding it from the public and, and just, you know, doing whatever it is. And you just felt since Jada came out and did what she had to do, you might well come out and do what you got to do. I'm like, really? You remember that red table talk thing you, when you was trying to not put Jada, your wife, out there too much. But then you wanted her to fry a little bit because she opened up Parad uh, Pandora's box on y'all behind. I'm like... Prince said he can't be played, but you and Jada are playing yourselves, okay? All this pretty much is do what thou will, like, just as long as the person know what we're doing. But, of course, this is not none of my business. It's just my opinion, so I'm just expressing it because you put it out there for everybody to partake of. And I'm like, I guess all things do work together for the good to who loves the Lord. But I don't know if you love the Lord, Will, because you took an oath, you took a vow to love and cherish Jada for the rest of your life and she did the same to you but she just haven't been happy i i don't know with her fascination with tupac and all that stuff meaning he was the real love of her life so if he was the real love of your life her your life Jada, would you have wanted to be totally monogamous with him would you have been able to share will or pop with any other woman out there i don't think so i think it would have been something real tight and you would have been wanting just it to be you and pop no side affairs no side bitches no side hoes no side eggs no side scrubs you see what i'm saying but with will it just seems like he just don't do it for you i mean it was fun when it lasted but you like that thuggish type boy Mm-hmm. You like it, you like it, you like it. Because even when you were on a different world, you was trying to, you know, mix it up with Pac and all this stuff. And y'all kind of look at kind of cute. Y'all look at my girl. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie, girl. But it just is what it is. You stuck it out with Will. Mostly, I think it's probably of a contractual thing. Y'all are good together far as picture perfect and keeping your assets together and not wanting to divide. But I'm like, hey, y'all can split it up amicably. Your kids are grown. You have your wealth. He has his wealth. I mean, I don't understand. It's like you're kind of like being greedy. You want your cake and you want to you, you want your, your, your cake and you want to eat it too along with some side dishes and some cupcakes also. You know, I'm like, it's not fair that you want to make a mockery out of the true institution of marriage. Okay? Maybe you and we just need to get a divorce and just live together. Okay? That would be nice because right now that's what you're doing. You're making a mockery out of marriage. Marriage is not shared between seven men on set and one woman or a man and a woman and y'all have equally um placed people in your lives just as long as you know y'all live together I, i'm on it it's, it's just too much polygamy it's just too much but that's my sidebar y'all know how i feel about it you know they were trying to make our casino felt like he was stupid he was you know not telling the truth and you know make him look all kinds of crazy out in the world and then will was like i ain't tell him he could do that with my wife but you ain't try to beat him up either will you didn't try to take him to the streets and put him to the streets you know what i'm saying from the streets you uh, came to the streets you shall return you didn't try to kick him out you still up there holding him up in your house and everything taking care of him because he had that little breakdown or something 
And from my understanding, your son, um, what's your son's name? Jaden had brought him in now. He needed, you know, somewhere safe to stay because he was freaking out. And then Jaden was supposed to nurse him back to hell. And I'm telling you, that's who she wanted. But, you know, cars wasn't playing right or whatever. And she was trying to be too p politically correct. For Pop, because if she really wanted him, she should have been chasing after him, you know, whatever, and, and, and beating down these other women for him getting too close to him. But, you know, Pop was just having fun. He wanted women, women, women. I don't even really know if he had one woman, one woman in particular he wanted to share the rest of his life with. Because for us, uh, quiet as the kelp, and a lot of some of speak it out, Madonna was supposed to have been his girlfriend, too. He's supposed to have some little twist with her, but he said the world would not accept them because of the colorism. Uh, by you know the biracialness going on and he was already an outspoken political man and he didn't know if Madonna could take the heat and he didn't want to destroy her career you know this is what I read don't know if it's true or not but you know Will Smith you know he ain't no saint he been out there being featured uh and photographs on his Instagram Facebook account with other women you know making like he wasn't in the same space with them but the same backgrounds disappearing you just not being photographed with that person but y'all out there you know on an island <coughs> or a resort somewhere hanging and chilling so it's this your uh coming out thing saying you know i'm doing the same thing my wife is doing i just didn't want y'all to know but now it seems like it's acceptable y'all are more understanding about you know we're rich we're famous we get bored okay we ain't like normal people we've exhausted buying the masses of many different materialistic type things cars boats planes trains automobiles houses people and now we just want to do what we want to do. We want to be able to swing. And it's just known. Just tearing the fabric out of true relationships. True partnerships. Uh, the whole oneness of being in a marriage. We want to forget all about that. And we want to make a new era. You know. Pretty much Alex Crow what is it? Alex Crowley. Or you know that man that uh, says do what thou will. I don't, I don't know. But he's some satanic type worshiper or whatnot. And child, it's just like you, you're feeding into all of that wheel. You're trying to set, you're trying to be the poster boy and Jada's trying to be the poster girl of just tearing up America's way or just a humanity way of processing what a marriage is supposed to be like. I, I mean, that's what I'm saying. You know, I don't understand, Will. And I don't want to understand what you're doing out here. But it's not right what you're doing. Either get get divorced, okay? Y'all can still live in the same house. Y'all can still have the own same property. But at least y'all don't have to be like, you know, doing all this. Because all this is just too much for me. It's just too much. And it doesn't make any sense. But, of course, that's none of my business. But we're going to go with, uh, we chose BuzzFeed, which is a commentary who speaks on celebrity news. Uh, they are media outs outlet source and we have a writer for buzzfeed her name is uh leela muhammad and she in, uh titles her article will smith confirmed he and jada smith pickett or jada pickett smith have an open relationship and admitted it she's never believed in a conventional marriage a year on from that entanglement drama okay like now she got called that's what it was <laughs> And she really didn't feel like explaining the stuff. But we were like, you know, you mess with mine. I tried to do what I had to do undercover, under wraps. Okay, one did not know what the other one was doing. Meaning the public did not know what I was doing. You knew what I was doing. But the public didn't know because I kept it very secret. I kept it on the hush. Hush. I was in clandestine with mine. But you had to go out there and, you know, mess with the boy head. And he go freak out. And he just tear the whole world. And then we here trying to explain ourselves. And then he's like, you know what? It's been a year since your mess. I want to swing too, okay. I'm gonna swing too, and I, I know some other, some people I want to swing with. But anyway, that's my sidebar. Going back to the article, it said marriage for us can't be a prison, and I don't suggest our role for anybody. I'm like, well, I'm one for one. I'm not listening to you, and I'm not looking at you as no role model or somebody that I want to uh, aspire to be. Okay, so you ain't got you 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 ain't got to worry about that, brother. I'm straight on that. Okay, but going back, it says Will Smith has opened up about him about his and Jada Pickett Smith's 
tantamonious marriage ahead of the release of his upcoming self-titled memoir this November. The Hollywood couple, who were married in 1997 and shared two children, Jade in 23 and Willow 20, made headlines last July after they addressed rumors of infidelity during their marriage on Jada's candid talk show, Red Table Talk. Now, in an interview with GQ, as their latest cover star, the 53-year-old actor has addressed last year's discussion and offered future insight into the period of non-monogamy in his and Jada's marriage. Okay. In a surprisingly candid exchange, we'll confirm to the interviewer that both he and Jada have, with mutual agreement, engaged in sexual relationships outside of their marriage. And I'm like, whoa, who are you telling? We've been new that. It's just poor Augustina got messed up in the uh, the comings and goings of the trappings of what you and Jada were doing, Will. We already knew that. Okay, you had already showed us who you were uh about long before okay yes long before uh, the author noted that those who watched the red table talk might have believed that jada was the only one engaging in other sexual relationships before adding that will had deli delicately explained that this was not the case wow will didn't elaborate on his sexual experiences outside of the marriage he did admit that he felt guilty over considering infidelity in the early phases of their relationship due to his christian upbringing okay see again he's trying to tell the whole fabric of christianity or any other type of religion that feels like it should be a woman and a man uh entering into a, re a relationship uh, where it's fostering kids to come out that relationship okay everybody was raised and, and 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 brought up that way you know now how people viewpoints are and perspectives about the whole ordeal of marriage is different we're living in different times different generations and we just have to adjust but for me it will always be a man and a woman and I can have empathy towards someone who shares a different opinion. But just like I let them hold their beliefs of what they feel, they have to do the same for me. And we have to, unfortunately, agree to disagree. But, uh, yeah, so wheels, that's like, okay, we finna throw caution to the wind. I'm finna do what I want to do. You do what you want to do. And if we do come together, we don't need to be giving each other diseases, okay? So strap up or make sure you go into the clinic or to the doctor making sure everything is toasty clear and copacetic because i do want to come back or then you know even if i don't come back and we still living together or whatnot um i don't want to have to really take care of y'all i don't want you to get sick out there so i need you to be messing with reputable people who care about their bodies okay who care about their health so you know, I don't have to, like, be in a relationship that I'm really liking. And then you get sick and then I have to come back and take care of your behind because you were not there doing the right thing as far as handling your business or who you were getting down with. You know what I'm saying? Whew, I'm telling you, it's just, it seems like it's just going to add on to more frustration and more confusion when people get into this open marriage. I'm like, forget marriage then. You ain't ready for a marriage. You just want to have your cake and eat it too. Or you want to have your cupcakes, your uh, popsicles, you want to have your donuts. You just want to have an array of everything like a smuggers board when it's dealing with women for real and uh, men for, for Jada. And I'm just speaking hypothetically because they probably like maybe the same sex. We might like men. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. I mean, the streets, the YouTube and the uh, social media streets been <laughs> well, uh, whistleblowing saying, you know, we'll get down on the same gender side. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, it might not be too far French because uh, Jada played some roles as well where she was, you know, Doing on that copy crunching thing with the females. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it what it is. It's their life. It's how they want to see them living their own life. And, you know, it's just you what it is. But going back to the article, it says he detailed his experience of speaking to an intimacy coach who helped him process his thoughts about having a harem of girlfriends, including fellow A-listers, Misty Copeland and Halle Berry, despite being married. And I'm like, see? See what I'm saying? See? Honey, you already done committed the offense, so 
you know, by you coming out saying you're going to do you, Jada going to do her, and y'all good. Don't make, we going to be good with it. We still going to have some opinions about it, okay? But who are we to you for you to go live your life? I don't pay your bills. I can't uh, convict you, you know, to go to hell or heaven, you know. That's not my judging. So, anyway, going back to the article says, uh, I don't know where I saw it or some shit as a teenager, <laughs> but the idea of traveling with 20 women that I loved and took care of, of and all of that it seemed like a really great idea we'll explain and then after we played it out a little bit i was like that would be horrific that would be horrific okay what the coach was doing was essentially cleaning out my mind letting it know it was okay to be me and be who i was he said it was okay to think hallie is fine it doesn't make me a bad person that i'm married and i think hallie is beautiful whereas in my mind in my christian upbringing even my thoughts were my sins okay that was really the process that the coach worked me through to let me realize that my thoughts were not sins and even acting on imperfect thoughts didn't make me a piece of shit he added well, well, I'm going to say this, okay? <laughs> the good Bible says, okay? If you already done acted out in your mind and played it through, yeah, you already done sin. But you're trying to take a little bit further. you already trying to say you're going to commit the sin, and then you want to be forgiven. I'm like, okay, well, this has to be some consequences now. It has to be some understanding of, you know, tempting with the... Uh, we call it um uh, being tempted of the befit um what do you call it uh the forbidden fruit okay just because it's out there you are in a relationship um it shouldn't be a thing i mean okay you, you just as long as you're not lusting after it but it seems like you don't lust it you don't saw yourself doing it and you want to do it you're craving it okay so you're just lustful at this time you just like being lustful and thus it's a sin you know what i'm saying we should not, uh, I mean, you have a beautiful wife, you have a beautiful life, but yet you're still not happy. You see what I'm going with that? So it's a much diff, um, it's a much deeper issue going on with you than you're just saying, if I could just have the life where I could just date, still be married to this wonderful, beautiful lady, gave me two beautiful kids, and this, that, and the third, and it's always been by my side. But if I can still have her, as my ace boom cone and I still have the opportunity to go and date and be with intimately romantically with other slew of women and men that would be the ultimate thing but my thing will okay if you're given that space that time that okay to do all these things would you not get bored would you not get bored again then what you gonna do you gonna throw animals in there next you're going to throw plastic dolls in there. It just it goes on and on. You're trying to feed a fantasy. And once you complete that whole fantasy into real life, incorporate, incorporating it into your real life, then what, what's next? Animalism? Bestiality? I mean, I don't know. You don't take it this far. You might take it all the way home. You know what I'm saying? But going back to the article, it says, uh, Will then detailed how unlike that of his Religion, religio centric upbringing. I would say they could have missed that word and just say religious upbringing. Jada had been raised in a more unconventional environment. Jada never believed in conventional marriage. Jada had family members that had an unconventional relationship. We'll reveal. So she grew up in a way that was very different than I or that how I grew up grew up and i'm like hell what? no jada mother and she said it out her own mouth she said gammy said no she don't understand about this uh be free with one another and y'all date and go and bed and go and you know do everything with somebody else but y'all married no she went up with that now jada's speaking of some other people in her family and i'm like girl they were just doing what they wanted to do. That don't make what they were doing was right either. You know what I'm saying? So just because you had it in your family didn't mean you had to adapt to it or uh, mimic it in your own life. You didn't have to, uh, like, say, I'm going to use this example of them being free will with their bodies and, and they seem to be happy, this, that, and the third. I like that lifestyle better. 
So I'm going to go with it. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much what Jada said. I'm like, no, nah, Jada mom was busy. She was a nurse. She was trying to handle her business, trying to take her kids. And she did not have all that time to be with Jada. But she taught Jada the uh, the uh, uh, bare essentials that she needed, which is definitely be educated, work for what she wants, and go out there and get it. So those were some good points her mother gave her. But Jada's just on her own selfish uh, plight or her own selfish journey where she wants to do what she want to do regardless if this other person is tied up into anything. I just want what I want, you know, that, that kind of bratty attitude. But anyway, going back to the article, it says there were significant, significant endless discussions about what is rational, relational perfection, he said. What is the perfect way to interact as a couple? And for the large part of our relationship, monogamy was what we chose. Not thinking of monogamy as the only relational perfection. And I'm like, see, there you go. I always want to perfect something to its perfectionist idea of being. No, Will, nothing has to be perfect. You just keep working at it. And, and, and all things that work together for good for those who love the Lord you put him in the center part of it you can make it work you can have a successful monogamous relationship but you're just letting outside forces your sinful nature to come in and dictate that I need more than what I'm getting you don't satisfy them, me no more. I need the men. I need the women. I need the, the, the animals, okay? And then I think I would be satisfied. When in actuality, no, you need to find out what's going on between you in a deeper sense. I mean, if you need to be uh, bisexual, if you need to be just with a man and that's going to make you happy, then go do you. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather you go do you than you just trampling all these relationships and still talking about you want to be married at the same time. Because that's having both worlds. And you can't have both worlds. Okay. It just doesn't match. That's why we have our yin and our yang. We have some good. We have some bad. But it's a balance. And we have to um, toe the line. So we, won't be, so we won't be too far gone on either side. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, that was just my opinion. Moving on. It says, um, we have given each other... Trust and freedom with the belief that everybody has to find their own way, he added. And marriage for us can't be a prison. And I don't suggest our role for anybody. But the experiences that the freedoms that we're given one another and the unconditional support to me is the highest definition of love. We are also revealed that the pair have endured intense arguments for years preceding their decision against monogamy with Things reaching a breaking point by Jada's 40th birthday in 2011. He recalled a fight between the two that ensured that night, which resulted in their daughter Willow, who was 10 at the time, begging them to stop. Our marriage wasn't working. Will explained we could no longer pretend. We were both miserable and clearly something had to change. And Will went on to address last year's notable red table talk discussion, which saw the pair at the center of public attention for months. If you missed it, the conversation, which took place in July 2020, involved a couple discussing a rare rumors around their marriage. And after singer August Alcina alleged he had a relationship with Jada with Will's permission in 2015. <coughs> at that time, August Alcina alleged, alleged, I actually sat down with Will had a conversation due to the transformation from their marriage to life partnership that has spoken on several times and not involving romanticism. He gave me his blessing. Before Jada addressed her relationship with August Alicina on Red Table Talk, she and Will revealed that they were actually separated indefinitely at the time. And like separated Jada don't mean divorce, baby. Separation don't mean divorce. Separation more like a cooling off spot. And let me see if I'm going to miss you uh, more than three to four, six months. Okay. And if it's an earning or yearning that I need to be there, then maybe it is something there left. But if I come back and I'm still feeling as miserable as I am, hell, I'm getting a divorce. Okay. We can be cool. We can be tight. We can be best buds. But we just can't do this marriage thing anymore. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, that, that's two mature people coming to an agreement. Okay? The only agreement they needed was to stay focused with the kids, parent uh, them accordingly. 
<coughs> and professionally and lovingly and then just handle the assets okay let's divide it amicably okay and neither one is gonna work or want for anything but just split it up that's how they had to come but it seemed like that greed that money that power they still want to be this power couple but they want to set the tone for everybody else to feel or partake of their situation and say well you too can do this as well okay you can be swingers yes you can ain't nobody gonna judge you and you shouldn't feel guilty about it do what you want to do do what thou will and that's what's gonna get a hell of a lot of people in trouble okay because it has to be boundaries. If everybody went out there and did what they wanted to do, we would have so much chaos in the world. That's why we have rules. That's why we have rules and regulations, and we try to stick with them to find some type of unison of surviving one another as a human race. Okay, but that's just my sidebar going back. It said, um, we decided that we were going to separate for a period of time and you go figure out how to make yourself happy and I'll figure out how to make myself happy. We'll say it detailing the reasoning behind their decision to split. Jada said that it was after separating from Will that she'd found herself in a different kind of entanglement with August Asina, which she later cl clarified was in fact a romantic relationship. I'm like, only reason you clarified that, Jada, because everybody knew. Everybody knew they saw y'all going out, being out on the town, hugging, kissing one another, you know, being entangled, like you said. You gave the word entanglement, and everybody just went out with it and wanted to have, even re re regular everyday folk were trying to be entanglements. I'm like, no, uh uh. Somebody gonna get hurt. Somebody gonna get sent to the grave or the hospital. Okay, fooling around with Will and, and Jada, talking about an entanglement, and they want to partake of that too. Like, girl, stay away from that forbidden fruit. Stay away from it. That's Jezebel spirit running out there on y'all. But anyway, uh, going back to the article, it said, um, and while the pair denied August's claim about having received Will's blessing, Jada said she understood why he made that comment. But what August was probably trying to communicate because I could actually see how he would perceive it as permission because we were separated amicably. And I think he also wanted to make it clear that he's not a home wrecker, which he's not. Will and Jada went on to explain that they ultimate, ultimately reconciled their marriage, which led to the end of her relationship with August. Well, in this interview with GQ, Will has now revealed his thoughts on the Real ta Red Table Talk discussion, particularly in light of the amount of media attention it received. The public has a narrative that is impenetra impenetrable and penetrably he said once the public decides something it's difficult to impossible to dislodge the pictures and ideas and perceptions however will stood by his wife jada's decision to be to be open about their marital arrangements despite the intense backlash and public scrutiny that they faced the pursuit of truth is the only way to be happy in this lifetime we sort of came to the agreement that the authentic authenticity uh, was the release from the shackles of fame and public scrutiny, he said. Uh, I don't know why we want to use that analogy or an, uh, that terminology, shackles. Not, I ain't nobody put y'all together. I ain't nobody put y'all together. Y'all put your own stuff together. So how you going to say this was uh, shackles on your feet? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Whitney. That's what he said. Hell. He said the shackles of marriage and the confinement and the prison marital status puts you in and i'm like no nah, we don't have it now it's called get a divorce bid her adieu love on her from afar and keep it moving but that's all i have for this video y'all will and his decision him and jada making for the rest of the world well if y'all want to be with us and y'all want to be happy hey y'all stay married but have an open relationship that's gonna be best that's gonna be that's the only thing that keep y'all together is an open relationship I'm like what if you happen happily to go on and get into this open relationship just blare it out for everybody like will and uh jada doing now what if uh will find himself where he don't want to be with, with with this one woman, this one man down the road. Are you going to be uh, mad because he's going to say, well, I really need to get a divorce from you because I really found 
this person to make me happy be it a she or he or it might be both and this is where i want to be and i don't want to be with you anymore but i love you girl but can we get it changed on paper are you going to be excited about that um jada or if it was vice versa are you going to be excited about that will if she comes back with that type of uh logical thinking or reasoning she's using <laughs> i don't think so it's a hot mess but y'all get down there and tell me what y'all thought about we are coming out confessing that hey it wasn't just his wife he's just a little bit shy and a little bit scared because he didn't know how the public was going to react to him wanting to have his relationships with other men or women uh and and the public deem him bad because um, you know he was trying to be there for his wife when she came out when she tested the waters and wanted to do her little entanglement and people weren't so kind to her but we didn't it, it, it didn't shock us it, it really didn't shock us so um it is ill what it is y'all get down and tell me honey because i tell you if pop was still alive and jada could get wrapped in his arms again she wouldn't want nobody to be with pop and Pop probably won't want nobody to be with her, but he'll probably be on the side trying to get some with some other freaky freaks, you know. Because he like, uh-uh, don't hold me down. Just leave the door open for me like DMX. <laughs> I'm coming back home. I'm coming. I know where my home at, but I got to run. I got to run the streets. got to run the streets. Don't hold me down. Now don't hold me down. So, if you like it, if you love it, if you want more videos like these, please don't hesitate but to do three things. Share, like, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next video. Bye-bye.